and the first type of race, really, of the uh, 2023 season in Bangor Racing. Here is really our first championship winner, the Micros Grand Final. Here is Heavy Metal Classic HMC 2023. Cars out there, look at the state of the 781 of Blake Dudley. That's not going to last long. That was a victory of that pile up as well. Pack about to be unleashed. Ricky Beasley and Joey Reynolds to lead them off. They've always caught the pace car. Green flag waves, and here they go. Joey's got away well. I'll try and squeeze Ricky towards the tyres on the inside, I think. Tucking in in third is um, 739 of Jason Moore. He loses uh, one car there already. That's the Welsh Wizard, Kyron Wilson. Into turn three they go. Up there, J Jess Tauk gets taken out by the 28th of Mac Bell. Goes in on uh, Yogi Jr. Here comes Sonny One with Pollock. Straight into the back of the 792 of Jessica Rabbit. That's short in the Ford KA van. So 781 Blake Dudley at least getting one hit out of his squashed car. The Welsh Wizard is turfed aside again on the back straight. Also going in up there at turn two. He's one of the courses. I can't see the number on him. Who's, your, who's leading? It's Joey, of course. Oh, he's got caught up there with a back marker. Got caught up with 5 1 2 of Matt Armstrong. Because he's going out and wallop. What a hit on Blake Dudley. That was Josh Wilkins, I think. And he's going to get another one from Sherlock in 3 1 5. Oh, that's made him go quicker. How is that possible? He's going to go into the pile on turn two. He can't steer it. Wow. A micro micro, that is. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Anybody else going to pile it up there? Doesn't look like it. Jaden James has taken one down there in the Team Extreme livery car, son of Johnny James, 362. Joey Leeds, Jason Moore second, Ricky Beasley third. Joey Reynolds, the reigning Unders Classics champion. He won the Micros in 2020 at the HMC. 28 Mac uh, Bell is taken in up there by 747 Bradley Davies. They go in on turns one and two into the pilot. As the Fiesta and Joey continues to lead. Well, 781 is one of the star turns of the day for me. Blake Dudley, a never say die performance. As Jaden James taken out by Aaron Charles in 77. Jessica Tau trying to break out of the pileup, battling with Ryan Yeo, Yogi Jr. <coughs> Almost four wide right there in a turn one. And here comes Jess out of the pile up. She can only go round in circles. Nearly collected uh, Jamie Wall there. Joey leads it. Jason Moore second. He's in, uh, I think, in the top three of all his races today. Ricky Beasley third. Things quietening down in the closing stages here of this Micro Bangers final at HMC 23. Jamie Moore spins out into the water splash on turn one. Jessica Tau trying to back out into the traffic. Somebody's got to finish that car off, surely. Here comes Sherlock, wallop, slides into it. And then gets done by 4-2-1 Josh Mayer, who's going to be the outgoing champion here. He's not going to defend his title, I don't think. It's looking good for Joey. It's just Tau doing a Civil War blocking job on turn two. It is the Civil War hence for next week, of course. 66 in the pile, almost there, Kyle Roberts. 28 of Mac Bell in the, this little battle as well. This isn't the DD, you know. 70, 70, 70, Last lap for 760, Joey Reynolds. There's a bit of a concert on there, Jaden James and Billy Jarvis on the back straight. 5 on 2, Matt Armstrong has come to a halt. Will anyone nail him? Doesn't look like it. The checkered flag is out. Joey Reynolds takes it. Joey Reynolds, his uh, fourth HMC title in three meetings. Of course, the meeting wasn't held in 2021. But he just cannot stop winning titles at this event. We'll confirm the rest of the results as soon as we can. Well, Joey's won it.
Jason Moore. And sixth was 9-10, Josh Wilkins. That's 7 6 0 67 6 4 
The car going into Lake, he's driver's door there, let's hope Liam Lake's okay. Yep, thumbs up from the marshal, that's a lucky escape there for Liam Lake, because after Jay Anzler had been put in there, his car went through uh, Lakey's door. But he's all right, that was not intentional, don't worry. Two two the mules, beat two five wiggles, two five seven Timmy will reach the water boy then the man we're all pinning our hopes up. Seven sixty Joey. The size that group, thirty five of them. So it's gonna be chaos. Oh yes, I'm looking forward to this race. Rev's already beginning to rise at the back, we haven't gone green yet. Jack Starby into open the Bluebird. Just to fill the pace car there as we go green, here we go already once a late Bowman the showman gets turfed aside on the back straight, Timmy Aldridge sticking the bumper in on the first turn. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be some chaos down there, Mark Boyle attacking in the uh, Zafira. 3-3-4, Jamie Swambers taking the big hit on the home straight. The leader's Timmy Aldrich. 7-2-1, Carly Gabriel takes one from Boyle in the people carrier. Jack Aldrich getting into the back of Joey. They're determined to stop him. Jack Aldrich now takes one from Nick Digby, who had a poor start. Jack Bunyan has the lead, but he's taking the side. By Adam Wixon, 3-2-5. It goes to the inside out of turn number two. Side by side, down the back straight, pull the lead. With a pile in on turn four, Callum Gogan's taking one from Beach Ball. He's been done in turn, I think that's uh, Barmy Baz. The yes, S-Max has gone in there as well. It's Adam Wixon, your leader, 3-2-5. Second place is Jack Bunyan, then it's Timmy Ulrich. Joey's in fourth place. Jack Bunyan back to the inside. a great race going on for the lead here. Into turn three. Bumper goes in from Timmy Ulrich using his stock car experience there. He hooks up Jack Bunyan. Takes him sideways. At the inside of both of them goes Wixon. It's a terrific race. If nothing else, Joey getting involved there. He's going to try and punt both of them wide. Look at this. Four of them. Almost four wide for the lead of this race. There's almost a blockage there on turn four. Who's that that's been destroyed? I think I might be 300 down there. I can't see. There's a wheel off in there somewhere. It's hard to take your eyes off the race for the lead. Timmy Aldridge has the lead. I think goes one of the bears on the back of 88 Billy Page. That was 300. The pasty who's lost the wheel, I think. So the reds are out. Start. Hang on, Timmy Aldridge, now you can go. And here they do go, down to turn one, a flying lead start by Matt Woodcock in the pack in the 144. Timmy leads it off. Adam Wicks there's a second and wallop straight in on the home straight goes Irish Andy, courtesy of the 794 of Scott Martindale. Here they come into turn three and four, Timmy's held the lead. Joey's up to fourth, he's got ahead of Jack Aldridge, now going for Adam Wixon. Ba Baby Bunny in 244, he's up into second place, Jack Bunyan. Joey going for third, now that the first two have got away. Bunyan tries to get the bumper in on Ulrich. We lose Matt Woodcock after that quick start, he's pulled off. 
This is going to be a race to the flag, I think now, or maybe not. 2 2 1 has picked up uh, somebody there. Turns out of it, that was the 808 of Zachary. Zach Stevens almost got put in. Adam Dixon's been taken wide. Tangled up with Joey there, I think. Joey is uh, still in there among the leaders, I think. There are the two leaders together. Jack Bunyan going to the lead on the inside. It's side by side the third between Joey and Jack, or Jack Bunyan's now got the lead. Joey going for third, but I think he's going to have to hope for these two to tangle with back markers now if he's going to win three titles today. There's a long gap ahead. Well up straight in goes the 2-2-1, that's Ted Harfield in the Astra Coupe, put in by Brett Jackson in 5-5-1. Timmy Aldridge leads. Got to be keeping a cool head here to get through the back markers as Adam Wixon leans in. Uh, that's 4-2-2 to the Mule up there on turn two. Lost Maisie ends on turn three as well as Jackstar picks up DT in 369, nearly takes him round. Almost in the pile on turn four. Jack Bunyan has got the lead ahead of Timmy Aldrich. Adam Wixon on the attack again and little Spikey gets taken down by Jackstar into turn one. The mule offering an assist as well. Jack Bunyan from Timmy Aldrich. Scott Martindale fires uh, Alfie Spokes under the centre. It's side by side for third. Between Joey and Jack Aldridge, but he's running out of time. I don't think Joey's going to do it. Last lap. It's Jack Bunyan. Well, I don't think we've ever had a third generation of heavy metal classics winners. Carl Bunyan won it back in 1996. Michael Bunyan won it in 2016. But here in 2023, the chequered flag drops on Jack Bunyan. It becomes the third generation of his family to win a heavy metal classic title. Second for Timmy Aldrich. Uh, Joey Reynolds tried for the hat trick. Has to settle for third. What a great story, though. Three generations of the Bunyan family have now won the HMC. Red flags go out. We'll confirm the towards the back of the grid. Here we go with our main event then. The Unlimited Heavy Metal Classic Championship race. 35 cars, 12 laps. Let's get ready to rumble. Here we go. Runa and Jason Moore lead them off. Who's going to fire the first shot? Boogie gets spun around by John Bicknell in the number two. He's under fire in turn from Nemesis in the 239. Ready to pile in down there. The Omega of Fitzgerald is gone. Uh, number 10, Roscoe's caught up. 349 of Guppies in there. Number 50 of the Lady is in there as well. There's the first cast to fall. Everybody else around OK. Runa and Jason Moore either side of the 355 of Dark. It's Runa that just about has the lead from pole position. He lost the lead bugle up there on turn three and four. No major hits going in so far. Keefe fires up the back of Aaron Dark in 355 on the back straight. The two Bears horses rubbing shoulders. Spectacular side there. Jason Moore has taken the lead ahead of Runa. It's Ricky Beasley in third, but under fire from Luke Holdsworth. Number 10, Roscoe leans in 32, Reedy on uh, turns one and two. Alfie Turner rejoins Adam Wallop, gets nailed by Luke Holdsworth. It's a luckless day for Alfie Turner. He's been done by Nutty Nath in the end tank as well. That's the end of his race. Leaders out of turn two. It's Jason Moore, 739, the Mendips Raceway man who leads the way. Second place, 262, Runa. And third place looks like Tombo in 209 with his Merck as Splat gets put into a marketer by Keefe. He has had a decent race so far. We've lost uh, 
Big Mac in 4.30 on turn four. As Tombo under fire from Luke Holdsworth puts him wide into Ace Ashes Hearse. Takes third place. The two leaders well ahead though by the length of the straight. Roscoe's got in on Alfie Turner. He's had a dreadful day in that mark three. Here comes Ace Ash. Who's he aiming for? The big Yank Hearse is aiming for Roscoe. Wallop fires up the back of the Lexus. He's been done in turn by the 349 of James Guppy. Now spins the hearse around the big caddy. It's a head on from Guppy as well. It's more of a race this one at the moment. The P5 gets put in there, a broken shire. Here comes Luke Maynard, wallop! Destroys the P5 and here goes Nutty Mays! What a hit on deep there's Hearse. Two Yanks and a P5, or three Yanks, because Ace Ash is in there as well. Roscoe goes in on uh, somebody on the inside there. Couldn't see who it was. He might be Sam Bartlett. Will anyone go in on Nutty Nath in the Ford LCD? That's superb. Ace Ash had the P5 put into him up there. And then Luke Maynard was put into Sean Brokenshire. And then uh, Nutty Nath nails the Bears' hearse. Still they race on. Boogie trying to take out Jason Moore to get Runa through. The Boogie brothers, the Bugler brothers working together. So Boogie's going to try and take out the leader to get Runa through. But look who's up behind them. 4-2-5, the Bolt. As John Bicknell has a go at Ace Ashes Hearse. He's going to go for a revenge on Nutty Nath. Wallop! What a hit on the LCD. That snapped the hearse. Come on. Come on. Somebody go in on that hearse. Come on. Somebody finish that wrecking train off. The P5's got going again. There's a wheel off up there somewhere on turn three. P5 is taken round by Roscoe in number 10. It's a tyre off Dan Wigman's car that's uh, come off up there. The bolt, I'm told, is a lap down. So it's uh, Boogie and Runa trying to get rid of Jason Moore. And he's hanging on for dear life in the lead in 7-3-9. Here comes Runa. The super second. Luke Holdsworth's third. As uh, I think the 50 car has gone in, possibly on Ace Ash's hearse up there. Steve Shepard involved as well. We're in the closing stage now. Somebody with a terrible misfire. Can Jason Moore hang on? Here comes the big train of contact. They're all going to go wide. Runa's gone. The leader's gone. Out goes Moore. Out goes Runa. Who's coming through? The checkered flag is in sight. Well, Boogie stopped on the line. It's under delay, everybody. I don't know who's... Oh, that was... Look at the tactics on Boogie, Runa's won it, Runa's won it. And Bob Brewer and Sean Brokenshire goes through the back of Ace Ashes Hurst to end a cracker. Now.
fade. I'll apologise for any misidentified cars. No change there, I hear you all say, as we get underway. Rayner leads them off. Kyron Wilson already under fire from uh, Mac Bell in the 28. 699 of Aaron Nelson has taken sideways there by Jerry Reynolds, who starts at the back and has already passed half the field. Again, no change there, I hear you all say. Carl Rayner leads from Josh Mayo, the outgoing micro champion. 266, uh, Brad Wells in third. Lost somebody there on the inside of turn one already, can't make out who it is. We've got about half a dozen cars or so waiting for the DD, including 372 Fruit Jr. who's uh, worked well to repair his car. Somebody getting turfed out up there on turn number three and a couple of cars into the market tyres. We lost up there then. Uh, I can't see the numbers. 412 Hayden Galley is one of them, I think. So Joey's already up to third. We're only a couple of laps into this. Don't forget we go into the DD at the end of the race. Last car building will win. Oh, Kyra Wilson getting tangled up there with the 129 car, Tyler Sayer. They go on to the infield. Adam Nelson rejoins in 699, Aaron Nelson, sorry. <laughs> 747 Strudy, oh, that's Bradley Davies. He's going to get uh, some attention from uh, Wells there in the 266. 28, Mac Bell trying to rejoin. Kyle Wilson under fire from Kyle Roberts in the 66, who got a smart car prize today. Kyron Wilson now gets one from Joey Reynolds, here we go into turn one, they take Mac with him, they both go out wide. Joey now second behind Kyle Rayner in the 715, Josh Mayo, 4 to one Splodge is third. And they're well clear of everybody else, looks like it's Brad Wells fourth, then Ricky Beasley in the 67. Somebody being spun aside there, that's uh, Sayers on the back straight, Tyler Sayers, spun round by Kyle Roberts. Jerry's now taken the lead yet again. Well, Kyle Rayner lunges at him, let it go. And Matt Bell, is that? no, it's uh, Aaron Nelson taken into the wall, I think that was by Billy Jarvis, the Team Streets graduate in 363. In the Condor's car and he gets a T-bone from one of the courses. Carl Rayner still lunging at Joey Reynolds, trying to take him out. Now, was that Sayer who took about Jarvis? I think it was. Checkered flag is at the ready, and Joey wins again.
Right here, Curtis Savage has been nailed by persons unseen. He's crabbing down the straight. 6-2 to Harvey Webb nails him. Cracking race. Another one goes in. That was on Basil again. That was Jimmy Craig. There was something against Basil in the 42. Somehow Curtis Savage, his Panera is the size of an Almero and he's still moving. Josh Gooch could be heading for victory here, the check of laser here, and another one on Basil from Jimmy Craig. It's the size of a Nissan Sunny now, and it's going to be the size of a Micro if he takes another one. And finally, we go red, check it in red. And that's a turn one. Well, this is going to be one heck of a DD if uh, I'm the judge. We've only got about uh, six or seven cars out there. Now, can Jay Anslow keep that poor bird moving? Look at that on turn two. Joey's going to go in, is he? No. Right, so he's going to be the last classic moving then. Uh, one of the Isle of Wight boys fires at the back of Wiggy. Curtis Salvage, I think, is still moving there on turn one. Uh, the 860 of 306 Chunky's joined in. He gets a package up there from uh, Josh Gooch. Joey wins it on uh, Rodders in uh, 538. For some reason, one of the Isle of Wight boys went straight into Curtis Salvage's door. He gets done in turn. Oh, massive T-bone. That was um, Pugs, I think, on 3.11, Helm Jr. He'd just gone in for a revenge shot on uh, the uh, blobby car, Colin Duff up there, after he'd uh, collected salvage in the door. And then the enormous T-bone from Pugs. We've got about four or five cars left now. Um, one of the webs is in there, Wiggy, Jamie Duff. And uh, I think that's Joey on the back straight. Wiggy takes one from Duff. There's been some massive hits in these, this classic event. Joey collects Wiggy and goes over the infield there. Through the puddles. Jack Starr's trying to keep going as well. We've got a couple of cars piling it up there on turn one. I think um, that's Harvey, no, it's Gary Webb, 62, has gone in on Chunky. We're down to three, I think. Although possibly Jack Star rejoining. Uh, 62, it is um, Harvey Webb, he goes through the back of Chunky. Robbie's struggling on, that's Jamie Duff in the Cavalier, or what's left of it. Here comes Joey, he's going to have a go at the Isle of Wight, man. Jack Starr struggling on with a flat front tyre and a misfire. If anything, 622 looks the stronger here, that is Harvey Webb. Jamie Duff turns it round. Who's Harvey Webb looking for? He's looking for Joey. Who's that coming off the middle? It's Joey, yeah. Uh, he's looking for Jamie Duff, I think. Don't duck through the puddles when he's coming at you. I said in the micro DD, we're not playing hide and seek. We seem to have lost Harvey Webb somewhere. Has he got himself stuck on the fence up there? Got somebody going on the front wheel and getting moving again. I know, here he comes. So we've got Jack Star, Joey, Jamie Duff, and Webb. Now Joey takes out Duff onto the infield, spins him around. Still they battle on now. Uh, the Reynolds boys divert into the infield to hit Wiggy. Oh, that's more like it. Harvey Webb goes in on um, that Joey or Jack. I can't tell them apart from this distance. 
Joey, he's going to go in for Joey. Oh, no, he's backed onto the infield out of the way. Joey wisely uh, thought better of it there. Taking their time, aren't they? So thank you, James, for helping me here. He's got better eyesight than me. You can see who it is over on the far side through the floodlights. <laughs> Joey's got the brakes on. Go on, Jamie Duff, finish him off. Wallop. No. OK, that might have finished Harvey Webb. No, it hasn't. So who's left? Joey turns around. Joey, Harvey Webb. Jack Starr seems to be stuck on the back straight. Joey's trying to push him away. They're trying to get him going. Come on, Harvey. <laughs> oh, and he puts it into Tom Martin's A60 and jacks it. Now he takes a head on. Here comes Jamie Dobbs. This is going to be a finishing blow. Wallop. Has that won it for the Isle of Wight, man? No, I still movement in there. Yeah, Jack starts going again. Um, Harvey Webb's moving. Jack Starr's got out of that being pushed into Tom Martin. That's got him going again. Joey's going. I think, has that finally finished Harvey Webb? A T-bone on Duff. From Jack Starr. I wish they'd paint these cars brighter colours so I can see them from further away. Jack Starr's Bluebird is running on maybe two cylinders. Um, has Joey's had it, I think. So is it between Jack Starr and Jamie Duff, Mr. Blobby? Jack Starr's struggling. Jack Starr's coming to a stop on turn two. Go on, Jamie Duff. Yep. Is he waiting for him? Go on. Give him, a, give him a cheer as he goes down the back straight. Jamie Duff, veteran of 16 HMCs. Can he win the BD? In he goes on Jack Starr. It's a front wheel drive car. You need to attack the front, isn't it? Go a little further away than that. And we're back to the sumo wrestling situation. It's Cavalier against Bluebird. What's he waving to him for? <laughs> Is that it? Janie backs off. Don't get stuck in the puddle, whatever you do. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I don't think he's going to get out from there. Look. <laughs> Sprays Jack Starr with a face full of muddy water as he tries to find Grim. Look at the state of that. <laughs> Spins the wheel, the great muddy bouncing. That's going to cover our marshals if he's not careful. He shouldn't have backed in there.
is HMC 23. Green flag waves, they're away. Stumpy already under fire at the back of the field as 422 the mule leads them up. Somebody being taken out there on the host side, that's Bowman the showman. Here we go on turn one, there's a fury under fire from Stumpy, he gets uh, an attack in turn from, uh, couldn't see the number on that car unfortunately. Used <laughs> cars with similar colours out there and Irish Andy being taken out in the turn three, splash into the puddles. The mule leads, Sam Lewis. Now the home straight, that's 794, Scott Martin down, 96 to Josh Pixley under fire for the Bears, that was Darfie Spokes, tries to put him in on turn one. 422, the mule leads, 144, Matt Woodcock in second, he's in Jack Bunyan's car. Been picked up there by Timmy Ulrich, fires him wide. Right. They've lost Stumpy at turn three. And 419, of Spokes gets wound out by Mark Boyle in the Zafira. Bear looking to rejoin, Timmy Ulrich flying along, but he's having to give best fear to the mule. Down there on turn four, one car slowing up. Anyone finish that off? Seven nine four, Scott Martindale has pulled onto the centre. So is Bowman the showman. Two five seven, Timmy Aldridge trying to attack for the lead. Now he's already won a smart car prize with that Astra. Couldn't quite hang on to his title though. Scott Martin, Dale and uh, Peter and Bowman seem to think the DD started over there on the back straight, hasn't yet. And 257, Timmy Ulrich has now taken the lead. We lose uh, Chatty Man in 3 2 1 onto the centre. Ross Dyer's barely got the steering, he battles on though. Coming up to lap Mark Boyle, the leaders. Now, is he going to impede Timmy Aldridge here? It's taken wide. No, he's got through. Into the closing stages now. This all comes for the uh, modern unders. Oh, Ross Dyer, I think his car has died. Yep, onto the centre. Here comes the mule. Attacks. Oh, he's hit a tyre there. That could have lost his chance of the win. Last lap this time for Timmy Aldridge. Joey is in third in 7.60 in the battle of the fourth. Courtney Brewer up there, she's going well. Well, a luck to stay so far in the focus. Through go the leaders into their final lap. And here they come then. It's going to be a win for Timmy Aldridge. A great day for the Aldridge family. They've both been winners already. And here comes Timmy. 257, Timmy Aldridge takes the win. Second goes to 422 of Sam Lewis. And third is 760 Joey Reynolds. That's your top three. 
and he retakes the lead. Here comes Wiggy in the Mercedes. The Pulse in there as well. Jack Starr back in his Volvo. And he's Ash crabbing his way around in this left of that Cadillac hearse. Such a shame. We only saw one race from Guppy's version earlier on. Will Guppy, the clutch failed in that first race, unfortunately. John Bicknell's flying through in the Jag. Up in a fourth position ahead of Jack Starr and Wiggy. Somebody else in there. It's Luke Holdsworth, the new champion. The hearse slows up. He's going to try and block the track on turn four. Go on, somebody go in. Blocks the racing line on turn four. He backs out. Who's he caught there? Holdsworth, I think. Well, that's not to back up and catch somebody. The rest of you all drive past him. Come on. He's waiting for you there. He wants that thing finished off at last. Now he comes outside in. Don't talk dodge round him. That's more like it. Jack Star weighs in. <laughs> it just drives off. You can't stop that thing. As Charlie Cox was said in touring cars, couldn't get it with a stick, could you? Who's leading this? Ricky Beasley. Holdsworth's down after being taken out early on, so it's Boogie second. Now Keithy's going to have a go at the hearse. Takes him into the tyres, spins around himself. There we go, Jack Starr again. Well, it's only Keithy and Jack Starr getting stuck in. Wiggy pulls off, his Mercedes had enough. Flash backs out again, it's like a civil war this, isn't it? Playing the blocking job. Is he going to catch this time? Now come on, there was a time when the Bears and Team Black would hit each other constantly. Oh, there we go, Jack Starr again. And Mickey Beasley's driven past him every time. What's going on? He's going for the win. Has that? No, it's still the winning. Mickey Beasley wants the win, I think. Jack Starr trying to keep going. The horse is still moving just. Where's Keithy? There is Keithy. There he is at turn three, I think. Beasley leads into the last lap. Boogie second, Bricknell third. There's Keithy. Go on, Keithy, finish it off. Finish that horse off. Ah. Checkered flag goes out to Ricky Beasley. Takes the win in the Mark II. Second place goes to 252, a Boogie. And third, number two, John Bicknell, so that's 67, 252, number two. 67, 252, and number two, you know.